Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. We got a beautiful fall day here and I got a couple hours to get out. So I figured I'd do a bait review. I've got this guy right here. This is the Tightrope Bite Getter Spinner Bait made by my buddy Ryan. Uh, he also does the little firework jig, if you're familiar with that. I talk about it a lot. Uh, haven't had a chance to use this yet. Haven't even taken it out of the package. So we're gonna uh, take it out. I'm gonna give you a full review. Hopefully we can catch a couple fish. It is a cool fall day. Water temps are in the low 50s. I feel like we can catch a couple, but uh, we'll leave it up to the bait to tell us. All right, so we're gonna take it out for the first time. This is the half ounce size. And it, uh, I don't want to lose anything in the water here. So it's put out by Ketchco, uh, like I said, designed by my buddy Ryan. So just the back of it says that uh, the bike getter spinner bait, ideal solution when you don't want to mess around or fishing gets tough. It's got the Turtleback Colorado blade combo, a 17 to seven spring steel wire for durability and vibration head design that keeps the bait running true, double wire keeper, and a hand tied skirt. I like how it says born in the 312, that's the area code for Chicago, if you're not familiar with that. So I am, uh, I guess I've got a soft spot for it just because of the 312 on it. Definitely looks nice. I mean, it's got the hand tied skirt, like it mentions. It is a very compact little spinner bait. And fishing here on the river where I can catch largemouth and smallmouth, I like that I can get the different shell combinations. Actually says 312 on the blade. Nice little touch. Tightrope symbol down here as well on the bottom blade. It's a sharp little compact spinnerbait. Now I'm not going to start with a trailer. I just want to fish it without the trailer and we'll see how that goes. If I want to add the trailer based on uh, different types of uh you know fall rate or if i want to add a little bit of more vibration or a little bit more bulk to it i can do it i tend to prefer not to start with a trailer that's just my own personal preference i guess um yeah so we're gonna tie it on here see how it performs based on talking to my buddy ryan i know he put tons of time into designing this he is Pretty anal when it comes to uh, different, you know, the right types of uh, material and getting the performance out of it. So I'm expecting good things. Trim the tag end off here and we'll get to fishing. I mean, putting in the water for the first time. Really nice vibration on the skirt. Nice flash from that turtle combination. I mean, it looks like a good running bait. So let's put it to work, see what we can do. First cast, will we catch one? That would be pretty cool if we did. Ooh. Nice one. Golly. That's a good one. Right in the snout. Come here. Bite number one on the old bite getter. Would not have lost him. That's a three for sure. Chunky. Probably right at three. That did not take long at all. Okay, well, that's cool. A couple of things I've noticed right off the bat. Uh, it casts extremely well. It's so it's so much more compact that I mean it just doesn't flutter like a spinner bait. It just it casts much more like a swim jig. I feel like, which I really like because for me I like to fish uh, spinner baits around you know lots of targets. I'm not necessarily always just bombing it out. I like to throw it up against the bank and do that type of thing. So um, a cast wise, it's it's really good in terms of casting, which just means you're you're much more accurate. Uh, but it, it feels heavy, I guess, for a half ounce spinnerbait. And it's just because it's so much more compact. 
So that's one thing I like. The second is, as it states on the box, it really does run very true. Uh, even if I reel it real high and get it on the surface, like it doesn't blow out. It almost acts just like a buzz bait, which a lot of spinner baits, when you bring them up to the surface, they, they don't tend to run true. They'll actually blow out and be completely done. And then you got to catch them up again in terms of getting them the, the spin. But in this case, it, it really runs very true, which I really like. And even when it comes up over cover from what I've seen so far, it doesn't tend to roll. It kind of hits and comes up and over. So the blades are staying above it, which from what I've seen makes me think it's going to be pretty snag resistant, which I really, really like. So, oh, oh, dang it. There was another one. God, they're hitting, they're hitting way out here. I mean, I'm fishing, I'm in six foot of water right now. Both bites have come close to the boat. The other thing that I really like about it too, is it tends to run deep. Meaning, you know, I would have thought with the big turtleback shells on it that it would want to really ride high, but it, it it's very much running deep. Uh, you know, I feel like it's running every bit as deep as say a willow leaf blade, a double willow leaf, which is surprising to me, but I think that again has to do with that compact design as well as the head design. It's got a lot of weight forward, which I think is keeping the bait down. Um, so like in this circumstance, you know, I'm fishing, these are fall fish and you know, the boat right now is in seven foot. So it's a pretty steep 45 degree bank. And I like the fact that, you know, the bait is getting down deep enough to get the interest from the fish. I like that a lot. So far, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, we've thrown it for 10 minutes. I've had one nice largemouth and another bite on it. So let's see what else we can catch. came back for it. That's always a good sign. Another nice one. Two pounder. Good one. Right off that little rock pile. And keeper, 15 incher. It's been caught before. Let's see if there's another one. I just slid it up over that rock. It really does a really good job. It coming over without like rolling on its side, which is where you get stuck a lot of times. That's the part I don't quite fully understand it. I mean, I know there's something to do with that keel weighted head, which is what's doing it, but it really does a really good job at staying upright when it comes up and over, which is just making it uh, very good at coming through the cover. I mean, in that case, the rock, it just bumped right over the rock paint's holding up really good on it and I'm kind of bumping it off everything I'm liking it I'm liking it a lot it just feels like a, a really good I don't know how to describe it compact spinner bait that you can fish fast cover a lot of water but then with the 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 blades on it you can slow down and fish it much more like you would expect to be able to fish 
Colorado South Blades, but it it gets down so much deeper than I would expect. Like, which I'm I'm really digging because generally this type of spinner bait would want to rise on me. gotta get going guys with the tightrope bite getter this thing uh did a job today we caught them pretty good in pretty tough conditions in the little bit of time that we had uh the bait has held up extremely well we had a little bit of chipping on blades but i was beating it up pretty good on some rocks a little bit of chipping underneath but again i fished a lot of rock today so that's to be expected this thing getting some good bites very compact streamlined bait Gives your spinner bait a little something different. You might want to check them out. I'll put the link in the video description for you. Otherwise, guys, I got to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.